for those people who are willing to just really put themselves out there and, and try bringing Toastmasters to their workplace, what advice do you have for them? Mickey, it's similar to the advice that I shared earlier on, and that is be very mindful of how you sell the opportunity. If you just go in and say, you know, wouldn't you like a club in-house and we need 20 people and you've got to meet once a week and you've got to do, you know, table topics and speeches and they'll run a mile because it just sounds so complicated. It's like a whole new language they have to learn. But if you go into your company and say, how much would it be worth if you could get the people, more people in this company able to speak confidently, run meetings efficiently, listen and give feedback and learn to do things on time, what would that be worth to the company? Now, most companies would jump at the chance. And then you explain how you do it and that this is a learning by doing and it's learning that's embedded over time. I'm, I do corporate training. I can do a wonderful workshop for a couple of hours or even a day or two but that's not embedded learning. It's only when people do things, the same things over time that the learning really gets embedded and you get the full value of that training and that expertise. And Toastmasters allows us to do that. That's hugely valuable to companies, but you've got to sell it in the right way. And then just explain to them that even though it's, you know, it seems complicated and there's a new language to learn, we're there to help you. We've got club sponsors and mentors to help you get going. And we will be with you every step of the way to make sure you get full value.